Hello, hello, and welcome to the Not TBR tag. Why did I do my intro like that? Who knows? This tag was created by Buckish Hamster, and I was tagged in the original video, so thank you for that. There are only five questions, so it's a short and sweet one. Possibly going to get controversial here, but hey ho. Without further ado, let's go. Question number one Abandoned Pile. What genre are you most likely never going to add to your TBR? So, for me, it's probably romance. I say this a lot, I, I just don't really like romance in books, so it just doesn't really interest me. So the idea of that being the sole genre of a book, I don't know. Like, I'm, I think I'm more likely to add like a textbook or something like that, or even like a reference book. I've, I mean, I've read the Oxford English Dictionary, for example. I read that. That also can quite often mean that other books that include romance are kind of ruined for me because I just don't like reading about romance. I just It just doesn't grab me. Hey ho! Question number two, to be denied. What book in particular comes to mind that you would never read? So, the one that came to mind for some reason was Girl Online by Zoe Sugg, AKA Zoella. We'll just wait for the cars to go past, I guess. Yeah, I just have, I'm, I've never watched her on YouTube, so that doesn't give me any reason to want to read her book. And just what I know about it in terms of it being ghostwritten and stuff. I mean, I know all celebrity books are ghostwritten, but still, they, you could at least give the ghostwriter some credit, you know? So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I just, it's just the first thing that sprung to mind that I, I probably will never read. Number three, Nevermore. Is there an author you don't want to give a chance or second chance? So for me, this made me think of Carlos Ruiz Zafon. And uh, also potentially um, Paolo Coelho as well. Just because the, I've only read one book by each of those two authors and I really didn't like either of them. So... I don't want to do that again. Like, I think it would just make me angry to do it. So I'd, I'm just like, life's too short. I'd rather read some of the authors. Like, I'd rather read Ralph Ellison, who I really want to read some more of soon, than force myself to read another Carlos Ruiz de Fon book, you know? So I'd rather read any of these books coming now, actually. Question number four, TBR pile. Choose five books from your pile that you know you'll never get to, but still have in your TBR forever. Now, I may get to these at some point. These are all bedtime books for me, and I'm going to explain why as well. So, we have Moby Dick by Herman Melville. I mean, it's just a bit of a beast of a book. And, I mean, also, I mean, I'm vegan, so I don't want to read about whale hunting. I think we should save the whales. So I'm going to be on Moby Dick's side as opposed to bloody Captain Ahab's side, but yeah, I'll, I'll probably will read Moby Dick at some point, just because again, it's a classic. Bill Gates, The Road Ahead, revised and updated. Now, I picked this up just because it's a Bill Gates book, and I just find would find it interesting to read what he has to say, but this is the revised edition from 1996, and it started out with him talking about this thing called the internet that he thinks is going to get pretty popular. So... It's just a bit outdated, so I don't know whether I will actually read it. Here we have Rodney Stone by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Fuck me. Here we have Rodney Stone by Sir Arthur... I love living here. Here we have Rodney Stone by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. This is like a really old copy. And, uh, I mean, it's beautiful. It's got... An, it says here, uh, January 20th, 31st, 1917, I think, from Mother. So, in fact, I worked it out. This was published at a time at which Conan Doyle was still alive. Uh, so, yeah, and we have here a list of works by a Conan Doyle that somebody has ticked off. It also looks like it's been stained with chip fat or something. I don't know. But um, I will probably read this at some point. I want to read all of Arthur Conan Doyle's books, but I'm, not, I'm just not particularly keen to get to it, I guess. Here we have Dr. Zhivago by Boris Pasternak. This is another really old edition as well. It's got like a Bedfordshire County Library thing in the front and was taken out in 1966 and presumably never given back. I don't know. But um, funnily enough, one book, one review here on BookTube was talking about this the other day. She just, was it? I think it was her that had just finished. Yeah, it was her that had just finished reading this. And um, it made me want to pick it up slightly more. So I will get to it probably. But I think in the spirit of this question, they're not the books that I know I'll never get to. Because if I know I'll never get to, they don't stay on my TBR pile. I unhaul them. But they are books that I've had for a while and have no immediate desire to get to. 
But I do still want to read them at some point. Save them for my retirement, I guess. And finally, number five, we have The Thornbirds by Colleen McCulloch. And basically, the reason I want to read this is because there's a character in it called Dane, and apparently that's partly who I'm named after. Basically, my dad wanted to name me after Dane of the Iron Hills from The Hobbit. And my mum was like, no, the spelling's too weird. So he found that there was also a character called Dane in The Thornbirds. And so, but, that, but spelled how my name is spelled. And question number five, to be TBR'd, tag some people. So I'm going to do my usual thing. I'm going into my YouTube dashboard and I'm just going to tag whoever commented recently that I know has a channel. So I'm going to tag Beards and Books, Graham Quigley, Weird Reads, Min Kobayashi, One Book, One Review, Lattes and Mockingjays, Anthony Andrews, Beautiful Pages, Sophisticated Books, and Alex Black. There we go. You guys are tagged. So, hopefully this tag worked alright. I think I styled it out. And on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.